Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys what are the best ways to fix your lags, problems and all sort of issues in Valorant's new season which was dropped today. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch this video till the end and do not forget to leave a like on this video as it really helps me out and also don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I'll be replying to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Number one is the essential window settings that all of you should have and if you have applied them already feel free to skip this part step number one is simply go into settings and over here once you are in settings you have to search for game mode and once you are here go to turn on game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled basically this will optimize your pc by turning background applications and a lot of services running in the background allowing your pc to perform much faster it also disables notifications on your computer so you won't be prompted out of your game every time a new notification pops so once again really good setting then right beneath it you will find related settings and click on the graphics section and then once you are over here give it a while to refresh the list of the applications in your software okay so once it is done you will find all of the applications and games installed on your computer over here you have to simply look up for valorant from this list if it is already present you guys can see over here simply go to options and then make sure to select high performance over here then simply click on save and that should be good to go if Valorant is not over here, you can simply click on Browse and then go to Local Disk C. This is basically where Valorant is always installed. Go into Riot Games, Valorant, Live and Valorant.exe. Also, go to Shooter Games, uh, Binaries, Win64 and you have to add this as well. Once you have added and set both of them to high performance, you can simply go back to the system. Once again, once you are back over here, you have to search for startup applications and you have to turn off all of the unwanted startup applications as these might be consuming your memory as well as your system's processing power since your computer has boot up. So I highly recommend you guys to turn most of them off and yep. Uh, if you do not know about any application, just leave them as it is. And once you're done with that, you can simply pop out of Windows settings. Next most important setting is to disable the materialistic look of your windows. And to do that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once you are over here, simply click on adjust for best performance. And also click on show thumbnails instead of icons. So this will basically give you the thumbnails instead of icons whenever you're trying to preview an application. Once you're done, simply click on apply. And this should be saving a lot of performance on your computer. And this will make your computer look very simple. But on the other hand, your windows will perform much faster than before. Once you're done with that, second most important step is the ms config and to do that simply search for ms config and open system configuration and in here you have to go into the boot section and then click on advanced options click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available on your cpu most of you will have four six eight and even 12 so go with the maximum number available over here simply click on ok and now and now every time you boot up your computer you will always use the maximum number of processors while booting up and this will ultimately allow your pc to run much faster and it will also result in faster booting time once it is done simply click on apply click on ok and exit without restart as we will restart our pc later next most important thing is press your windows and r key together and search for percentage local app data percentage open it up and you will be in the local app data folder all you have to do over here is look up for valorant go to saved go to config and then click on date modified until you find the latest date on top first one will be crash report client you have to go with the second one which is which is usually the latest account you have played on and once you open it up go to windows and in here you will find game user settings ini all you have to do is right click go to show more options then click on edit and this notepad file will open right in front of you 
you just have to change a few settings in here so you have to scroll all the way down most important things that you are looking for over here is the scalability groups under that you will find your resolution quality most of you will be using 100 percent resolution quality but if you're running a super low end computer with 2 gb ram and dual core processors i highly recommend you guys to set it 80 or 90 or 95 depending upon the fps that you want to go once again i highly recommend you guys do not go under 80 as going below 80 will result in chunky and unclear gameplay so once again 80 will be the lowest limit you can set it anywhere between 80 to 100 if you have a super low end computer i will go with 100 then for the viewing distance quality i highly recommend you guys to set all of these things to zero as they will save you guys a lot and a lot of quality most of them are default set to zero for you guys but if it is set to one two or anything i highly recommend you guys to set it all the way to zero and once you're done with that simply press ctrl and s all together simply close this file right click go to show more options go to properties and make sure that it is set to read only so that you do not change these things in game or if your game tries to force any of these settings back it won't be saved that is why but it is a personal preference once again if you do not want it to set a read only you can always opt out of it simply click on apply and okay then one of the most important step is disk cleanup and defragment disk i'll explain it to you press your windows key and then search for disk cleanup then choose your local disk c and click on ok you always have to clean your local disk c as this is the heart of your computer this is where your operating system is installed and your computer's smoothness and everything is related to this drive simply select most of these things and yep um just see how much amount of total disk space you can clear for me i can clear up to 609 mb this is because i regularly keep on cleaning my disk and that is why you can always find less junk on my computer but that's a different thing you can have x amount of junk over here so simply select all of them once it is done you can simply click on clean up system files and that should be good for you once it is done simply click on exit and now you have to search for defragment and optimize drives once again if you have a solid state drive i I highly recommend you guys not to defragment it as this will consume life and to be honest defragmenting ssd won't give any performance boost it is just not advised once again if you have a hard disk drive you can always click on optimize and that is going to optimize your hard disk and yep that will be giving you maximum performance if you have your windows on your hard disk Next up is create a restore point and I highly recommend you guys to do this because if anything goes wrong you can always restore your system back to normal. So simply find local disk C, click on configure, make sure the turn on system protection is enabled, click on apply and click on ok then simply click on create, name it Valorant and simply click on create. Now let it take a while to make a system restore point and once it is done simply click on close click on ok. Now what you are looking for is the Valorant FPS pack. I will be leaving a link to this in the description below you can download it from there. Make sure to follow all these steps to download shown on the website to avoid getting scammed by viruses. Once again open this pack up and you will find three folders in here. First one is PC optimization and you will find a lot of registry files in here. All all you have to do is right click and merge all of these registry files and they're completely safe they do not change any core settings they will just change a few service settings in your computer that will allow your computer to run much faster all of these have specific tasks i'm not going into each one of it but if you want out of curiosity you can always click on show more options click on edit and check on what are the things that these files are going to change in your computer then you will also find your clean cache uh, or batch file over here and i highly recommend you guys to run this file and this is going to delete most of the unwanted files once it is done you can always close this thing up go back into ram optimization and over here i have left a preset to a lot of memory over here all you have to do is find the one you're using if you don't know you can search for system information and over here it will show you the installed physical memory in your computer that is what you are looking for over here 16 gb ram is the one i'm going to use and once again if you want to look at what other things these are going to change you can see it will just change a few things in your memory once again this is going to optimize your ram to perform much faster and much better 
then go back into Valorant priority and the one you're looking for is the Valorant high priority. So basically you have to run it to prioritize Valorant and this will allow your computer to use maximum amount of resources in your games rather than running background activities. Once you're done playing, you can always run a Valorant normal priority back again. Last but not the least is the ultimate power plant text over here. You have to copy this whole string, open up your command prompt, run this as administrator. And once you are over here, simply paste this string, press enter. I've already done it for myself. Uh, once you have done it, search for control panel and over here look up for power options now once you're over here simply select ultimate performance from this list also make sure to check out hide additional plans if it is not showing in preferred ones once again if you're using a laptop i highly recommend you guys to leave it to balanced as setting it to ultimate performance may consume a lot of battery and heat up your laptop a lot so if you are on a computer then only do this step once you're done with the fps pack I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag to fix all of your network issues. And to do that, simply go to the link in the description below, download exit lag from the website. Once you have installed and open exit lag on your computer, it should look like this. Over here, you have to search for Valorant. Once you have added it, you have to select a game region. For me, I know it is Mumbai 01. It can be different for you, but if you do not know your region, you can always click on all region and that is going to auto select the region nearest to you. I've already set it to mine. Click on user routes within my country first. So if there are any routes within your country, it will use the fastest one near you then click on optimize and that is going to optimize the best ping for you guys once it loads up click on apply routes and then go to tool section over here this is the best part of this application is that go into the fps boost section and in here you have to click on the first third fourth and the second last option that is going to allow your computer to run your games in the best priority and it will save you from a lot of things in the background once again exit lag is one of the best choice and i always recommend into my videos once you're done with the exit lag thing you have to open up your valorant go into the game and then follow the best in-game settings that you need to change right all right once you are in the game go into the settings from the top right section once you're in the general section scroll all the way down until you find the others section and over here go down and you'll find network buffering i highly recommend you guys to keep this thing to minimum if it is not already set to minimum then right on top you will find the beta raw input buffer i highly recommend you guys to set it to on as this will reduce the input latency drastically then go into video settings and over here do not cap your fps anywhere and for nvidia reflex low latency click on on plus boost check it on all three of those settings which of them is giving you best performance as for some people off gives the best performance for some people on plus boost give the best performance so once again check out by playing to that matches and that is going to give you the wider idea for graphic settings we have already set all of those things from the settings so you do not have to change anything over here the thing you're looking for is the multi-threaded rendering and if this option is visible for you guys i highly recommend you guys to set it to on and this will give you drastic fps changes in game once it is done you can close these settings go ahead and play the game and tell me if that works for you guys also do not forget to leave your specs in the comments below and also if you are looking for a detailed video on valorant network settings go check out this video i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below make sure to let me know how this works for you we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out